News from somewhere off the coast of Norway. A boatload of people who thought they were embarking on an exciting cruise of the fjords of Norway say they got a different kind of excitement. Mutiny on a luxury cruise ship. Several say their toilets stopped working. Now the toilet just does not flush. And it smells, it leaks. Passengers got into tense confrontations with the crew. Nothing on this itinerary is the same. Look at you, it's nothing is the same. Norwegian Cruise Line issued a statement apologizing for their guests' inconvenience, blaming weather for the change in itinerary. They also offered passengers a 25% credit for a future trip. Wait, what? Instead of a refund, the cruise line is offering 25% of another cruise? Yo, that's hella gangster, man. Imagine if the Titanic did that, right? Yeah, they're just pulling people into the lifeboats like, I'm so sorry your husband froze to death. Here's a coupon for a frozen margarita next time. <laughs> also, I get that this vacation wasn't perfect, but I'm not gonna lie. These people were being a little extreme, all right? Okay, some toilets don't flush and the food's not good. You're still on a cruise ship. You got slides and pools and endless alcohol. That's all you need for a good time. If the toilets don't work, you have the ocean right there. I mean, it's nature's <laughs> original toilet. Just do your thing. You're over the side, go back to the pool. You know how I know things weren't that bad? It's because people got together to make a group sign, all right? That doesn't happen in a real disaster, right? When shit's really going down, no one's like, oh, no, we're gonna die. Who's got pen and paper? We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. It would've been funny, though, if the passengers did take over, because I like how the people were like, I wanna see that captain. Imagine if they just took over the ship and it became like a pirate cruise. <laughs> just people sailing around the seas, attacking other crews. Ah, take the shrimp buffet. Ah. All right, well, moving on. From a fun time on the water gone wrong to a fun time in the air gone really wrong. Hot air balloon horror. Flames erupting at one of the nation's largest festivals. Fire falling from the skies. A hot air balloon engulfed in flames with a passenger and pilot on board. Just one in a string of balloons in distress. During one of the nation's largest festivals, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta in New Mexico. Authorities also rushing to help the passengers on this balloon after it goes flying into the cable line. And not far from there, a balloon crashed into a tree on a golf course and is ripped apart. Okay, I am so happy everyone survived those crashes. And on top of that, it is nice to see a story where I know no black people were hurt. <laughs> I, I don't even need to read the articles on this. So, things didn't go as planned, but what was the plan, huh? <laughs> I always wondered this, they're balloons. You can't control them, it just goes with the wind. Who wants to travel like that? Like, imagine if you got in your car and it just went in the direction the wind was blowing. <laughs> It was like, all right, on my way to work. No, looks like I'm going into the lake. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not getting into any mode of transportation that's built around a basket. I've never been at a picnic and thought, yeah, I want to do that in the sky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah.